Hey, what's up, guys? So we're playing Salt and Sanctuary again. Last time we left off, we were in Hager's Cavern, and I realized that we didn't have the correct brand or special ability that we needed in order to progress in that area. So I had to search around for a little while to figure out where we were actually going to go. If you guys recall, we killed the... I think it was the Uncut Inquisitor. I can't remember what his name was. But before we fight him, we stopped at this halfway point right here. Directly underneath was this walkway that needed to be materialized. So we can put the torch away now and we can progress onwards to the ziggurat. Certain enemies, like that guy and the horse, are just not worth fighting. So I don't even try to kill them. If our weapon did blunt attack damage, it would probably be worth killing him. But because we do slash damage, there's no point. Alright, Ziggurat of Dust, let's go. Some decent amount of damage there. Ooh. These guys give a lot of assault, too. Okay, so that was three hits for 119. How much do we do if I bless my weapon? I bet we hit like a truck. Holy. On skeleton. Yeah, 60 a shot. does it do? Increases dexterity. Lightning damage increase. I think dexterity just makes us more nimble. Fo focus usage on fatigue. That's pretty big for when we cast miracles. That'll just allow us to keep using miracles. Fire damage. I feel like most people do fire damage in this game. Wounding and regenerate HP. Those are okay. Alright, yeah. Let's just keep rocking. Let's just keep going here. No. So we're gonna stay to the left. Oh, I'll show you guys a cheap little trick you can do. You can bless your weapon and then reset down and get all your mana back. And then you just go out guns blazing. Rip them up. Three swings with the holy. Wasting my time. Oh, yeah, I've died on this a few times.
Ooh, bad jump. Look at that. Real bad jump. You can barely see this on my screen. Stone charm. What does this do? Oh, no. What a choke. I didn't even realize what I was doing. Oh, man. Brutal. Let's see what the stone charm does. Increases stagger damage. Oh, we could try it. See how I like it. I don't think I've ever used this before. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna get that item. I feel like it's bad for people to watch me do that. I don't recall it being anything special either. Oh, because I did the triangle attack? Well, that was on me, I guess. That's one of the best spells in the game for the mage, the flame barrage. That thing hits like a truck. Alright, if I don't play bad, I should be able to beat this boss first try. The Dried King. Well, if I don't play bad. Just get out of here. Yeah, I'm just really off this sword right now. I feel like we're not doing a ton of damage. Even with the holy damage added to it, we're really just not hitting that hard. But again, I've never seen that boss move like that before. I'm going to try to push him to the right side this time.
make him come to perfect. I was gonna say, I didn't get hit until that moment. Oh, there goes my no hitter. But yeah, that's way too many hits for that guy to go down. I mean, I was just beating on him for 10 years right there. And here is our next special ability. This is gonna allow us to do a midair dash. Um, I'll demonstrate this in a second. Yeah, this guy just talks nonsense about the island and all the lore that isn't fully fleshed out. Alright. So this is called the dart brand, because you get to dart around. So now, in midair, I'm not going to show this up here because you can kill yourself. Wow, look at these guys. Alright, I guess I have to kill these wise guys first. I mean, how many just pure haymakers can you eat? I don't know if I've ever just killed these guys before. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever fought on that pile before. Um, okay, so let's go where we need to go instead of wasting time. Oh, and then, yeah, we can now use our dashing brand in, in middle of the air to traverse the landscape. Okay. Now we can beat Hager's Cavern. Let's jack our guy up. Okay, I also don't think I like the stun on it at all. I think we were really missing that attack power. Okay, there's four levels there. And we can get Cleric 4. And we can just head towards Cleric 5 right now, so... Cleric 5 right here. Okay, 5 points of wisdom is what we need. That we're gonna be stupid strong soon. Do we stay up? There's a few things you need to get here. I can't remember which ones. Oh, there it is! Nice! I knew it was in here, I just didn't know where, so I was gonna start exploring like crazy. Okay, so we just got the steroid version of the buff that we currently are using, the blessed weapon. We just got divine blessed weapon. Class 4 prayer, so we literally couldn't have used this until right now. Nice, nice. Okay, and I think the animation has this one... Yeah, this one burns a little hotter. You can see it. At least I think you can. Maybe I'm making it up. But this should really take the skeletons out now. Oh, one shot. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, we're ripping really hard now, actually. That just solved all our damage problems. We 
We're one-shotting those guys, too. Yeah, this is impressive. Oh, man. This is serious. I don't know why, but I always just farm those guys a lot. I always like to. Take that out. I always wish that broke down that area right there. Oh, we don't actually need to go here. The guy through that door and wants like a bag of earth or something or a bag of dirt. I don't have it for him. Symbol of affluence. Is that souls or gold? That looks like gold. Yeah, I don't care about gold. I'll go for souls fine rate, but not the gold. Oh yeah, and now I can start doing this and speed up the run through a little bit. But I don't think people are going to want to watch me do that like crazy. So one thing I do when I play video games is sometimes I focus more on the combat and less on my health. That's why you'll notice that I randomly die to stupid things like poison, but I think it keeps you in the moment, so it's better to sometimes kill the guy with little health than it is to actually fight and make sure you get the heal off, because then you're just worried about not dying and not worrying about killing the guy. one of those moments where it's like, if you're gonna die, you might as well just make sure you get the lever grab off anyways. Alright, perfect. So, where are we at? Okay, 19 minutes. We're at the boss. I can put the boss back. I can do this. I can be extra cheesy right now and pop a red shard going into this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm already swinging. Disemboweled husk. Let's go.
Awesome. Okay, so another trick that I do when I play this game is if you get knocked down, it's not always the worst case scenario to be knocked down. Sometimes it's nice because you can use that to your uh, strategy. Your guy's on the ground, he's not able to take damage. So you just sit there until it's an opportune time. Why did that not work? Okay, there's a bug. So if you use a Warhorn and then unequip it, it doesn't display the menu. Okay. So I'll stay down on the ground until it's convenient for me to get up and to start swinging again. So I use it to my advantage. You get, you obviously got whacked real hard to be on the ground in a situation like that, but it's better than getting up too quickly, rushing and panicking, and then all of a sudden you're gonna about to get TKO'd by this guy. Okay, so we're gonna head to the next area now. I just have to remember exactly how to do this. I think it's this way though. Almost positive. Yeah, not worth my time. What's the point of time? Or if he walks in here, the path is. Alright, cool. I think there's another one right here. Oops. Oh! right now 24 okay this is a long video that's all right we got what we needed we got what we needed so we're gonna we're gonna upgrade our weapon right now hager's cavern is where the alchemist is things are about to get really serious for us all right so this is the alchemist grab our sword and we're going to use the Sea Wolf Cutlass. I don't have enough souls. Okay. Well, I'm going to farm then in between the next episode, gather enough souls, and then I'm going to upgrade this for everybody starting in the next episode. The Sea Wolf Cutlass is a lot better than what we're currently using. So, all right, guys. That was good work. I'll catch everyone in the next one.